The use of liquefied petroleum gas LPG, popularly known as cooking gas in Nigeria, has increased significantly leading to growth in LPG consumption. Uh, I think about 550,000 metric tons in 2017 to so about 1.2 million metric tons in 2020. I'm sure this must have increased at the moment. This outstanding feat has recorded a quantum leap in the number of LPG operators and terminals across the country. However, despite all efforts aimed at increasing the availability of cooking gas in the country, the soaring price of the product has become uh, worrisome to both stakeholders and, of course, consumers. That's why the proven estimated reserves of 206.53 trillion standard cubic feet of natural gas deposits in Nigeria as uh, of June 2021. The price of LPG has surged higher beyond the reach of Nigerians, with five increases recorded in three months. For over 90 million Nigerians who live on less than $1 per day, cooking gas may have become luxury amid the worsening unemployment situation, galloping inflation rates, and dire impact of COVID-19 pandemic, making the masses resort into the use of firewood, charcoal, and kerosene for cooking across the country. Just by the health and environmental effects. I introduced him earlier. He's the president, national president of the Nigerian Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers, NAPCAM, uh, Mr. Oladakbo. Uh, Mr. Latubo, Mr. Oladakbo. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. And congratulations. I think this is the first time I'm having you on the show, uh, being, uh, you becoming president of NAPCAM. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, a uh, pleasure. All right, but well, now we are meeting on the issue of hike in the price of gas. I want to ask this question first in two ways. How is it affecting? In business and how do you think this is impacting on the masses since they started thank you tolu and a uh, good day to viewers yeah, it's nice discussing this issue and i think it's no longer a news that the price of gas cooking gas has increased mm -hmm. it's also not a news that the short in supply is resorting to the hike in price and also it's not a news that the role of middlemen are also play significantly to the hike in price mm -hmm. but what is important that is new and that we need to let all Nigerians to know, and even government, is to know the impact of this hike in price. It has come, but how do we receive it? What are the impacts? Mm -hmm. And for his of, uh, illustration, I will look at the impact in this dimension. Let's look at the impact to the practitioners, the business owners, my members, people that are really doing this. What are the impact to them? Let's look at the impact into perspective of government. What is the impact to the government? Let's look at the impact to the economy. What's the impact to the economy? And let's not look at the a global perspective of the impact of this thing we are saying. It's not a crime or it is not, it's not an aberration for price to jump. One of indication or our factors of economic growth is a slight inflation that yeah. is needed. Yeah. But when price becoming unstable and increase and jumping at a geometric Rate. progression rate it's becoming worrisome and that is why you find yourself in lpg um going straight to the impact the first and foremost the impact members people that are person are facing now number one that's low patronage mm. of course. people are no longer using gas in your intro the usage level the consumption was used to be 550 it has gone up to 1 million 250 that has before july mm. it has no drive now now, what happened? Why that significant increase? The significant increase was as a result of contribution of member, campaign awareness, and everything, and they adopted it. And the commoners, the low-income manner, joined massively into the utilization of gas. 90% of usage of LPG in Nigeria today is using for cooking. The 10% are using for other purposes. And the masses that join are the ones that are being cut off now. We are losing them in large number. Years back, the elite have been using gas. Yes. You have gas. In your secondary school, in your home, your mother That's used true. gas. Have been using it. How many years ago? The elite have been using it. That's but true. the commoners, the wife to an Okada driver, the wife to a brick clear man, mm -hmm. the wife or the a school teacher, students that are not joining the Keda made the usage level to go up. Oh. Now we've called the barrier. We've called a li cut a line. Those ones are not dropping. So there's a loss of sales to members. We are losing significantly. Then people are falling off. Apart from that one, there's what we call loss of returns. Mm. Profitability yes. on the business has Drop. gone down. It has dropped significantly. People invest 10 point something million to buy a 20 metric tons now. Hardly do they get 500,000. 
find the proportion of that. It's not up to 10%. Any business you do that you don't have a minimal return, I'm talking of gross return, not a net return. Gross return of 15 to 18% is not a business that you can continue. Today, in LPG business, they don't enjoy 10% return. Gross at the plant level owner level. And when we are talking about this one effect, it also dovetails in the loss of capital. Members could not get enough capital even to buy. Because when you carry a product today, and the price, let's say it was 8 million, as what it was in August or um, early September, and it takes average of three weeks to sell a bridge of 20 tons. Okay. In between, they say you sold up to 60 to 70 cents, and the price went up to 9 point something million. The total sales proceed is not up to what you are going to take there to go and buy. Apparently, to continue business, you have to go and source for money somewhere to go and borrow. You borrow for this one, the another one happen, you borrow. At a point of time, you just close down. As we speak, gas plant are on sale. That's to sell the fight. And when that happens, it leads to unemployment. Because people will lay it half comes. and it becomes so means of livelihood for members are now being distorted. Mm. That is one effect to members. Mm. What other effect we are talking about even to government? The government, they are the ones spent a lot of money to campaign against deforestation. We are being troubled by erosion in this part of the world. They are called ecological fund. But now, deforestation will continue in a large number. People are already going back to the bush. The dry season is coming now. People will go there to cut wood because they must eat. Yeah. So we should expect significant deforestation. The gain we made by campaigning, just as the gain we made by getting people to the line, as we are losing them, we are losing forests. And that has ecological impacts. It has economic effect. All the money and the campaign governments in the past and the current government have been go into the hole because large number will go to bush now. Yeah. If you go outside city, and there are plants that are housed, the sales level that has gone down significantly. What people do now is to go and get charcoal. There's no charcoal anywhere. What they call charcoal is the wood that they process yeah. into charcoal. And this is the deforestation. So first impact, if this trend continues, the next three years will be into ecological problem. There will be ecological problem, erosion will be high. That is one aspect. Even to government itself, the effect to them, the first thing government will lose is confidence and credibility. Because Nigerians are now asking, what is the real perk for Nigerians? If they cannot eat in their home, these are the large number, the electorate, people that we kill. They cannot afford to cook with gas now. These are the ones that we promise that it's a decade of gas. Exactly. But as of today, they cannot afford to buy it. When GSM came in, the, poor, the people, the elites, have been using telephone. There were Naita, there were Turaya, yeah. there were series of phones. The elites were talking to themselves. But when GSM came, the poor were able to afford to carry hate. Very and we have a large number. And then the singing was, yeah, if that government did not do anything, this one they <laughs> did, <laughs> they are happy they with it. Yeah. This government has opportunity to penetrate, to make everybody use gas. That if they did not do anything, they, made, they changed their life. They allowed them to have access to gas. But now, that's to be taken away from them. L l let me follow up from there, because I, I know there are some issues around taxes yes. and also imports. Because when we look at what DPR said the last time, we have 206.53 trillion mm -hmm. cubic feet. If we have this much reserves, why are we still suffering imports and taxation issues? Thank you. The problem we are having here, and it's good that you ask this question. I will tell you, and Nigerians are listening. Yes. The issue of tax and import duty actually hasn't taken full effect. As of today, no terminal owner and no importer can come forward and say, I have paid this as VAT to federal government, or I have paid this as import duty. But what government did, these agents wrote to them, telling them that the product you are selling is subjected to fat and subject to import duty way back 2019. And that means at any time we can come and collect it. In accounting, what they need to do is to work, that's the plan for it, it's a contingent liability. It therefore it means it can crystallize. So what they do is to go into their cost template and factor this VAT there, factor this import duty there, and that increase the price. You don't blame them. 
There hasn't been inflow, but there's what we call contingency liability. What of if this agent comes tomorrow and they ask for money, they couldn't pay, they have to make provision for it. All government needed to do is to come out and make a pronouncement. I am delaying, I'm not collecting VAT on import now because we have insufficient supply. Refineries that are supposed to boost supplies are not working. Okay. The four of them are not working. We all rely on NLG. A being issue, and originally what NLG was planned for is to boost foreign earnings, is to sell and earn foreign exchange, exchange. which we improve later. We now depend on NLG for local supply now. Mm -hmm. Even NLG production is not enough. There are some other people that produce some other molecules. Those molecules are they being sold in this country? So if we've not sorted all the issues surrounding that, government cannot come and say yes, I'm going to input into the VAT on imported gas. I'm going to input import duty now. They only need to come and make a pronouncement. Okay. So these people that are factoring their template, they have to reverse it. If they don't do in good time, then it's the, the final users that the consumer that are feeling the impact. Mm -hmm. The businessmen are all factoring the cost templates to determine their price that we are buying today. Let us say in next one year government council, that money will not be returned to government to people. But silence of government is giving them the lead way. Yeah. During the uh, independent speech of the Mr. President, he alluded that the problem we are having with inflation has to do with the middlemen. When you identify problem, you must also provide Sorry. solution. What are we doing? The minister just said two days ago that they are aware that there's hike in price and they know there's a scarcity and shortage in supply and they are doing look what I want to do. They must act in good time. Whatever they want to do. It's a price regulated product. Yes, we don't ask government to come and regulate price. It will not work. It will not do anybody favor. But no government leave essential products 100% to the forces of market and demand and supply. The capitalists, the industrialists will capitalize on that and the poor will suffer for it. And that is where there must be mediation. There must be pronouncement of policies. There must be pronouncement of ideas. And there must be way of checking. Now, the checks are not there. People are capitalizing on this shortage and they are making good white margin. That is not safe for Nigerians. And now what I talk about the impact that the commoners now are losing confidence in government. Yes, but the government cannot meet their basic need. They can't cook. Another impact that we should prepare for is the increase in health care bill. Mm -hmm. Because before now, the mama puts, yes. the, the, the mama fry a car, they've been using gas. As that today, nobody is selling a car that can profitably use gas. Because a 12.5 kg gas now is being sold, 10,000, 8,000, depends on local, where, local you, buy where you buy it. I, 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 I bought today. So, it's about 8, somebody that is frying only two cups of beans, so can he afford to buy that one? What okay. profit margin? Okay. What will he do? He will resort to charcoal. As a resort, very soon we will be high bill on glaucoma. We'll be having high bill on health issues, long issue, issues, respiratory yeah. issues. These are things that we need to look in with a large view to see that the impact of this is quite high. Prices of gas went up worldwide, not only in Nigeria, yeah, yeah. but there are, I mean, palliatives that could see this effect. Right. Our per capita income is ridiculously low in this country. Somebody earning 50,000 Naira, can he, in a month, can he afford to buy gas of 10,000 out of that 50,000? How much will he set aside to buy the food he want to cook? And the majority of graduates in Nigeria earn 50,000 Naira. True, true. So now your association is very strategic when it comes to uh, issues like this. And I see that all of these positions, how receptive are you talking to government? Are you trying to talk to government so that they can, because we need to get this working. We can't just let people lose jobs. We can't close down gas plants and all of these are strategic. These are investments that we can't just uh, push on the side. Yeah, thank you, Tolu Ope. We are doing our bit. And I must give kudos to your station. I'm particularly your program. I've watched a series of your episodes. You've heard a lot of things about gas. And if people are saying, then there must be somebody listening. It's not only to listen, but it's only to, do, to act. act. And that is why I'm very happy to partake in this one. We are talking about effect. We are yes. not talking about what caused yeah. it now. Yeah. Let's tell the whole world the effect of the journey we are embarking on, where it can lead us to. <laughs> so that we are prepared. Do you know, we must know. <laughs> It's True. beyond that we can people say, hey, it's the only gas that is expensive. Other things are expensive now. But what are the effects, consequences of it? Mm. If we cannot improve our standard of living, 
if you are going down to the poverty level every day, then that's a problem. The, 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 world, the world Bank and other people internationally will rate us. That's part of the factor they used to rate standard of living. It's the way you cook. If you cannot cook in a very decent, friendly, economical way, it is me that poverty is glaring written on that person's face. An average Nigeria cannot afford to cook with cooking gas. Kerosene is not easy to come by to. Yes, it's about 350 per liter. <laughs> Charcoal has gone up. So I'm not saying government to come and put subsidy or regulate price. No. Let us put in. In as much as our refineries are not yet functioning, let's come out with the pronouncements. Fats imported suspended on this product. So people that are putting the template will remove it. Let us encourage all people that are producing in Nigeria. Not only an energy is producing, there are some other companies. Let okay. them encourage to sell their molecules. More importantly, they sell the same price they sell at the international market. Everybody uses money every price to benchmark. And there's market here. If we lose the consumption level and falls below, drastically below the level, we lose investment. A feasibility study, any investor coming here, you want to think affordability of market. Yes. People want to buy. There's no point you build the energetic structure and people can now afford it. Because our per capita income is low. If the price is too high, the market will not be there. Only you want to produce and go and sell in another country where the per capita income is high. high. If we are minimum wage is like 150,000, 10,000 becomes immaterial to buy gas. But the minimum wage in Nigeria is about 30,000 era. 10,000 is, 10, is very love. significant. Yeah. That's one third of your total income yeah. for cooking gas alone. What are you going to use to buy food? Cook. Would you wash your clothes, transportation, and you survive as a woman being? <laughs> we must put measures in place to make sure we control this. The president identified a problem, he must put mechanism in place to try solution to it. If middlemen are the problem, let him use his good office to solve problem of middlemen. Let Nigeria feel that they have government. Let them feel they are half life to live. If they cannot cope with gas, well then what is the peck? Hmm. Even at this time, we are talking about even using gas for vehicles, and we are not even having to cook food. Well, what's going to happen to regards? Is there any any relation of forex also has something to do with this? One way or the other. Yes, for all those ones are causes, mm. and it is very um, interwoven. Yes, forex is there. The importers claim that forex are not available. Yeah. When they are app app apply to CBN. They may just not give them, and the counterparts we want them to pay. They resort into uh, market. parallel market. They resort into export proceed and some other approach we want to make available. I mean, exchange it at the what is happening. Background. All those ones are there. Let us see. That's the real role of government concern. If we give this product a priority, yes, Nigeria can abuse things, but there must be regulations. If we give you a priority and we monitor them, let's there. The, but the question is, the foreign exchange is actually in full sufficiency. I just told you that NNG originally supposed to be foreign exchange and to the country. Now, the, all the booty NNG is for this is being sold locally because the foreign refineries are not working. We are waiting for Dangote refinery. Well, well, <laughs> well, I will shock you. <laughs> Dangote also has its own plan for its own products. Of course. He has a refinery, he has energy. Yeah. And when the product comes, it may not be available for cooking. True. Of course, it is business. So Nigeria should look far beyond the point we have if we really want to improve the standard of living of Nigerians. Mm. If we really want to add value to them, don't let us take away the basic things from them. Whatever the role of middlemen, whatever the current, let government do the needful. Let them make some pronouncements that will make change. Let them tell the agencies to suspend VAT. Let them tell the agencies to suspend the import duty and make it clear that for now, I'm not saying you should not be a source of that one, but when we have sufficient production locally, yeah. we cannot use that one to discourage. But we've not gotten to that level now. The letter hasn't been the first. It's there. And those companies have to make provision for it. Because otherwise, when it's crystallized, it, yeah, they can go yeah. bankrupt. Yeah. And that is what is happening today. Why the price has gone up. So the thing of supply and the role of middlemen also should be controlled. Okay. We have a logo plant there. Who are the distributors? Well, I mean, the off-takers. How many of them have plants? The chain between the producer and the 
the plant owners. The chain is too long because the middlemen are in between, yeah. and this is why increase the prices. Mm -hmm. And this is where interventions, sincerity, and political will becomes important to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. My happy is that Nigerians should be calm. Good. The effect is actually not palatable. If I go all all and all, to be as I'm scared, I'm not here <laughs> to scare anybody. <laughs> but the fact, what I'm seeing, the even fact. as a businessman, I don't enjoy it. It's a business is being threatened. Yes. So the fact is not to anybody's advantage. But I don't pray that all those effects not crystallize because mm -hmm. we don't have any country to run to. It's the same country. It is the same nation, and we must live like human beings, like they live in other developed countries. Hey, hey, one, one word for your members, maybe one minute for them too, because it's also it's a challenging time, like you yeah. identified. For your members, one word for them. Ah, well, uh, we had series of meetings. The Sona, uh, the Sona chairman already meeting them. They are discussing. My word to them is to be calm. I know it's tough for them, especially the bottling ones, the ones that are at plant owners. Mm. You know, in any business, it's a coin. What face you back yeah, another, another person? person. While some people are lamenting, some people are smiling. That, that is life. If the um, the plant owners are crying. The terminal owners may be laughing. Yeah. But that is why there must be balancing. And my appeal to my members is, it will not be like this forever. We will pass this stage. But it is, it is complex. There are a lot of factors. We're trying to have a series of meetings. We are consulting. We are appealing. And I know it's tough for them. But this time we soon pass over. And the normal life will come. I just pray that the government and the agencies will do the right thing so that we all enjoy the benefit of being in Nigeria. Thank you very much, Mr. Latubo Solada, for yeah, there. I've been speaking to the national president of NAGAM, that's National Association, and our general association of liquefied petroleum gas marketers. Thank you very much. Despite your tight shed, you're able to squeeze it out to come to the studio. We appreciate this. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's all my right. pleasure. Oh, enjoy your weekend, sir.